Welcome back to Return of the Oberdin. He's just still down he's, there. He's still down there. He he is a patient man. All right. Well, we got corpses all over the place. Where do you want to go next? Uh, let's see. We are doing escape now, so let's head downstairs. And yeah, where to? Um, let's see. I can't open any more doors. Nope. I think there is a way to tell which corpses you have and have not seen yet. Just a matter of what happens when you get close to your... to your watch. So you look at this guy. I think we've already looked at this guy. Yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to stare at his bones. <laughs> Alright, uh... We've already looked in all these rooms. We saw the blood splatter. And... Did we go all the way back here, or no? Uh, what about that guy behind you there? Uh, this guy. Yeah, that guy. I could have sworn we already looked at him. Nope, because the watch is closed. Oh. I have to check, but I think the watch face might have to do with which chapter and which part they're a part of. What's all this, you damn fool? Oh. oh, well, all right. Uh, okay, well, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, we know this guy. We do. He bludgeoned this dude who has a hat on. I don't know if that's good or bad, but he shot some dude. He shot this guy right in the fucking face. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, he did. He has a special hat, too. Well, fuck. Oh, and there's just blood everywhere. Alright, so some guy was being a damn fool. And this guy didn't... Yeah, we identified this guy. Yep, that's the third mate, I do believe. Yeah. So I could have sworn we already identified this guy, too. No, not yet. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, I did. I identified this guy. So who did he kill? We don't know who he killed, but we do know who he is. Okay. Oh yeah, I was gonna I was gonna reveal an extra fate for you. That we can get right off the bat. First of all, you turn yeah, escape part five. Uh, so my guy We don't know who he is, but we do know who killed him. Uh met an unknown fate, he got clubbed. Clubbed. By I I swear I had this guy's name. I just can't remember it. He he was the... He was Lars, wasn't he? Nope. No shit. It wasn't the Dane. He won, he won, he won Maba. Uh, shoot. Oh, he was Brennan, wasn't he? He was Henry Brennan. Yeah. So we don't know who he is, but we know who killed him. That's all we got for now. Alright, all right, well, we gotta do this corpse business first, and yeah. Alright, so... Probably this guy. Yeah, he got, he done got shot. So we don't have to go too far. It's probably just gonna, you know, loop around once and then we... take... <laughs> bread and butter, bread and butter, butter, there he is! <laughs> it actually went around in a circle. Alright, before you go to the corpse, open up the book. Open up book. All, all the way to the beginning. Uh, I, I, I think you can press, like, the trigger or whatever. Uh, uh, there, we're, a... we're going the long way. Yeah, Here there's... we go! Alright, alright. Uh, read the preface. Read the preface. I trust now that you find yourself aboard the Oberdin, I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I'll leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will be seen before you. At first, all will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch, da 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 da, complete each chapter accurately, and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of, of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. Henry Evans is one of the people, isn't he? He is indeed one of the people. So if he died due to failing health... He is not dead. Oh, he is dying, dying, but he is not dead. So... So the crew? Ah, uh, the crew. He's one of the unidentified, yes? Well, we, we know who he is. Oh, duh. Uh, Henry Evans. Uh, um, 
We know his fate, at least. We'll see him in a, like, we'll, we'll see Henry in a later, uh, a later memory. Mm-hmm. Well, he's sickly, right? Th that, th that was years ago. Th this, oh, all okay. this is years ago, and it just drifted in, and Henry was like, oh, okay, well, I better tell him what happened. So did we ever fi find out what he looked like? Uh, not yet, I don't think. Okay. But we, we do know his fate. Oh, uh, so how do I change that? Uh, oh, just the fate. I have to identify him, unfortunately. Oh, you do? Huh. Yeah. Oh, well. It's asking for identity, so we'll figure it out later. We know that he is alive in Morocco. Alive in Morocco. Okay. Well, because, because the book tells you to send this book completed to the, the French affairs in Morocco. So. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. All right, off we go. Escape four. Have a plan? Yes. Take ship for the south east. Great regiment mission shells for gold. <laughs> hey! Who's there? Mutiny! Mutiny! Fresh bastard! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Sheesh. Yep. Oh, well, that's what it, it wrestled well. the gun and got shot in the fucking face. All right. So was this the guy shouting mutiny, or was he the one mutinizing? Well, we can check. This that guy, guy we don't know yet. He's got a funny hat. And and he's got we, a funny hat. And we could maybe identify his nationality, you know, from from, from the way that he talked. So he's Russian. Okay, so, so are you that's... talking about the guy who died, or the guy who's... The guy, the guy who died has a Slavic accent. Slavic. We can't, can't identify him yet, because that's all we know. Oh. He's, he's still, uh... uh that, that guy, uh, hey, well, uh, yeah. Knife uh, in the back. Coward. Not him, his attacker. Alright, so, we got another dead guy. Can't open any more doors, I don't see anybody else around here. Okay. That's about all we got. So, a Slavic man who died. Oh, a gunshot to the face. That, you know, that, that much we know, that he definitely got shot in the face. Alright, sh uh, shot. Shot. By a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> it might as well have been a cannon. Yeah, pretty much. This unknown soul was shot with the gun by an unknown attacker. Oh. Okay. You can try anyway if you know the rules, but you can just, you know, speedrun this shit, but... <laughs> nah, nah, it's fine. I could just tell you all the, all the, all the answers. That wouldn't no, be... That, no, that, that, wouldn't, that, that wouldn't be, be very fun. It, nah, it, wouldn't, nah. it wouldn't have the same mystique, though. I want I want to enjoy my time, so what am I looking for? I think he's up above. Up, oh. Uh, oh. So, what is it we're doing here? Are we, like, three layers deep or something like that? Or are we just... It just wants us to identify somebody Whoa, else? You, oh, wow. Okay. What the hell? Oh, all right. Oh. Turn oh. the page for this one. Okay. Escape three. So oh, this still. dude traveled all the way up here, and then, you know, like a frat boy, got thrown off the side of the boat. Oh my. Yeah. All right. Th this was just a cursed endeavor from the get-go. I like it. Let them go! It's called escape because there's people <gasps> who are trying to escape oh from my a lifeboat. Oh my god! We know who she is. Yeah! We've already identified her from a bone I threw you earlier, but that's okay. That's okay. Don't quite know who he is. Well, if she was trying to escape with him, probably related somehow, maybe? Mm, well, and this guy just... I won't get you too far, but... God damn. So we don't know who that guy is yet. Oh, he was trying to shoot this that's, guy. That's the captain. That's the fucking captain? The fucking captain's like, No, you're not getting on this fucking boat! Okay, so did this guy get shot by the captain, maybe? That, guy, that guy's probably escaped, too. But we do, we do know that this guy is a top man, because he doesn't really have a shirt. That's the, that's that's the third that mate guy. again, with his steward. With a steward, okay. 
All right, so the captain was trying to shoot him, but it doesn't look like he got the shot off. Nope, it was... Well, that guy, you know. Oh, that guy's just there. Okay, but so... no, it was the woman who shot him. Yes. See, I like the fact that we hear the scene up until the very moment of death. Uh-huh. That's very interesting. All right, so uh, there are very limited women on this boat. So let's see if I how much I remember. So I definitely know how they died. Got shot in the friggin' face with a gun. With a gu with a uh, with a very gun. So it was. I'll uh, I'll help you out. Uh, it was Emily Jackson. Emily Jackson. Okay. Emily Jackson did it. Because you could have figured out by you know looking at that the at, at who was in it and you see yeah. it was her and you see that it was it. So it was Emily Jackson who shot this guy who was a top man and that's all we know. Okay. And now we're being led on again. To that guy. Yeah, what happened to this dude? He got shot with a gun. <laughs> but which gun? Probably by the captain. That, well, that would suck. Especially if he was the one to snitch mutiny. All right, let's 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 see his path. Where are we heading? Guiding smoke. But, wow. <laughs> he got thrown around, really. <laughs> All right, let's see your story. Last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last one. See, that's why it's called escape. Everyone's trying to, you know... The, the doom happened right before this. And, uh, yeah, well, no, wait, we, we're out of here. We are out of here. Ay, ay, ay. So he didn't get shot at all. He got stabbed. He got stabbed by, by that the guy fellow. who got shot. Uh huh. All right. So if we figure out who that who uh, the guy stabbing him is, we can figure out who killed him and t take care of his fate, and then we can take care of him and you know take care of his fate. But so, we know, but we know who who uh, the guy who got stabbed was. Do we? Yes. Okay. They shouted, "Paul." Oh, they did. Did they? I must have missed that. See, I just assumed that, you know, Emily Jackson want, wanted him to come along, but... I, I mean, she's like, I'm trying to help you here, take my hand, And no. you, you, stab, you stabbed him, and then he fucking shoots him right in the face, because he's probably gonna... A bastard. You know, kill, kill them, or drag them back on the ship, and leave them to die. Mm. Poor fate. I'm coming! Help! Kind of reminds me of the closing of Looney Tunes. <laughs> Over it in, folks! <laughs> he got stabbed. Uh, hmm. uh, I think uh, killed with a sword. Killed it? with sword. So we don't know his attacker, but we do know, we do know who he is. Because if you go back to the dialogue there... Paul, look out. Ah, okay. So, we gotta find some doofus named Paul. First name or last name? Oh. Paul Moss. He was the he first mate Killed steward. by a sword by an unknown top man. Hmm. All right. And now we're going farther. Even further back. How far does the rabbit hole go? Ay, ay, ay. He has no arm. He has no arms. He's been disarmed. Literally. So, uh, here's where I'm gonna throw you another bone. Okay. Just, uh, just to save on time. But we'll, uh, take care of that first. Yeah, let's see what's going on with this dude. So this, this cloud of smoke that's leading me from place to place. The last person to interact with this guy was that guy who died? Uh, this is the first chapter of Escape. So this is the end of the chapter, essentially. Oh, okay. Put me down! Let go! Easy oh. now. You're in a bad way. This is squid. <laughs> Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. The, that, the beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. Captain came up from the hold. 
Said he chased it off. Mm. You should rest. The captain, huh? A curse like that does that lived for nothing. It's so, all right. I don't really know that guy. And this. I don't really dude. know that guy. But this dude. We can kind of determine who he is on a couple things. All right, so his arm got ripped off. And yes. I'm going to assume he's higher ranking if he has a, a mate with him. Yeah, there's a couple things we can do here, and uh, this is an indication that downstairs is going to be opened up after this. Gotcha. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh my god. What <laughs> the fuck is going on uh, here? What happened? All right, all right. Uh, I don't think there's anybody else to take a look at. Yep, not yet. Oh, this guy. Where are you going? Capitan. I hear people are trying to get off the lifeboat. I'm not fucking letting that happen. No way. I would love it if the end of the game had all of these stories play in motion. Like, watching everybody die It would be cool at, at to the same watch, time. It would be cool to watch from, like, you know, part one all the way to the end. So. Right. But that would create too, uh, that'd be, that'd be too clear, I think. Mm-hmm. All right. So, all right. Uh, he, we, we saw him in the Doom 7. He got torn apart by a terrible beast. Torn apart. Okay. By... But by, by, that's, that's where his arm went. Right. So, this unknown soul. Let's, we, we can determine this. He All has right. a mate who is a Frenchman because he's, where is my Frenchman? Where is my Frenchman? All right. So, somebody would have to be from France as a, as some sort of first, mate or, first mate or, 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 uh, or, uh, underneath type person. Okay, so where are all my Frenchmen's at? Oh! Boson's mate, so it's Boson. We don't know where Ch what happened to Charles yet. But we, we do, do know, know that he has a Frenchman who's his mate. Okay. And that's the only one. I think I passed him. Oops. And he's up there. Keep, 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 uh, you you were like uh, right on him. Uh, uh, keep going up, all uh, the way up, uh, back back to the Frenchman. Yeah. He's Boson's mate, right? Yeah. Where's my Frenchman? So the guy that died is Boson, right? Wait. Oh, good lord. He's right there. I thought it was a name. Right there. <laughs> I thought it was a name. Alfred Clestel <laughs> was torn apart. <laughs> By a terrible beast. God, I'm such a moron. <laughs> I didn't know what a bosun was. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. So the door is open, and uh, we can now move on with the story a bit more. And I do not think there's anything else that we can really ID here for now. Ooh, is this good? That means that escape is done. Really? I do think we have some disappearances that we need to, to oh, talk man. about. Yes. Four people ended up leaving the boat. They escaped. Yes. Are they escaped, or they do, or we don't know what quite happened to them yet. And uh. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, we we know that. The two, the two ladies are alive. The other two folks who don't know who they are yet. Right. But they are all alive. That we know of. And we, and when we get to a certain chapter, we can figure out the identity of another one of those guys. When we figure out who that guy is. We can identify where they went, and that's a couple. That's a few more fates solved. Okay, so it kind of opens up a lot here soon. Yes. Can't open the door. All right, that's a uh, that's a lot of blood. It's a lot of blood, and I think uh, one second. Uh, okay. I think there is a door that has opened somewhere, and that's going to be our next stop. Okay. Try upstairs though. Upstairs. Wait. Uh, look look around here a little bit. I mean, this this part has indeed opened up. Oh. Oh ho ho! Oh ho! So next time, on Return of the Oberdin, this cow's skull 
You're gonna tell us something very important. <laughs> oh my god. Very important. Okay. See you next time. Some people died of mad cow disease.